Hello everyone, I'm back. So, thought I'd show you guys what happened to the pour. I didn't video uh, the glue gun part, but it's not, you know, rocket science. So, what it really is, is uh, just start up the glue gun. And what you can do is practice on a plastic surface. So I just, you know, made a, a, a little drop and then pulled it like that. And then you get these sort of um, things that resemble a sort of a flower. So I put that on. First I was going to use the glue gun on a surface and pull it off. You know, when you have the whole thing, just pull it off and stick it on the canvas. But I thought, you know, then I have to go through sticking it on with glue and that's going to be a lot of work. So I thought I'd just use the glue gun on the canvas and as you can see it works perfectly. Now another thing that is really cool about glue gun, the glue that comes out of it, is that um, this, the gold foil, sticks on it pretty well and I tried both things. so. This is, um, I took one of these little things on, on the finger, just pushed it on there, and then started to rub, rub it on there like that. And then with a brush, I would take away the uh, excess. But I also wanted to try uh, a paint marker, so I did both. But the, um, the bits where I put on the foil, as you can see, they are really pretty. And then this one here, where I did the gold marker, is a little less, just a little less shiny. So, but overall, you can do both. So, where you didn't get the foil to stick on that well, or you missed the part, you can touch it up with a um, with a marker. So, I like the the whole pour. I really like certain bits of it, like this here. This is really pretty. And over here, I like this bit here, but it was uh, just you know a background for the uh, f for this idea that I uh, that I had, and I wanted to do. So that's it. This is just a little um, quick second part of the video, I guess. And of course, you're all wondering about the social experiment. Okay, we did a um, I, I did. I put uh, two series of um, scrap paper on, so the beach scrap paper, everyone could download that for free. And then I had the Shibori, which I asked, you know, just donate a dollar, that's okay. Don't need any more than that if you download it, a dollar. Well, there were exactly, drum roll, brrr, how many people paid for the Shibori? You're gonna really laugh. There you go. That's how many people paid for it. Three people. And um, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of sad. But I want to thank those three people for being so honest and, you know, just thinking about a poor artist over here in Holland. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not poor, but um, it would have been nice if the experiment had worked. Because, you know, I thought, you know, I thought at least like 20 people would would have, um, you know, just donated a dollar because I put so much time and energy into it. But those three people, um, not one of them did a dollar. One did four and a half, one did eight, one did two. So <laughs> I want to really thank those people for um, supporting me and the, you know, just taking part of the social experiment, I guess, but it didn't work. So I'll just, um, I'll go make some and put them on Etsy. Yeah, Etsy will get rich. And um, I guess that's why uh, there's an Etsy because, you know, people just want everything for nothing. That's how it goes. Um, I've been mixing up a whole bunch of uh, a paint a lot. So tomorrow I'm gonna be pouring, today's Saturday. Uh, I spent the whole week, I spent doing my um, studio again. Uh, there was a part of me that just, I wasn't feeling it. And 
I know it's it's really funny to say I wasn't feeling it. It's a beautiful space, but I was just not feeling that, you know, the urge to make things and everything was packed on these uh, big shelves and it just didn't work for me. So what I did is I bought more shelves and I'll show you that in a bit. I bought even more shelves and now I have the idea that it's more like what I would like to work in. So I don't know if that makes sense, but for some of you, it's going to make sense. It's just, you know, you're in this space and you see all your stuff and you're thinking, eh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. And I have like 26,000 hobbies up here and I still don't know, you know, it just didn't feel right. And I really, really want a pottery wheel. People, I gotta have one. But they're so very expensive. <laughs> but I've been, you know, nagging my hubby about, I really need a pottery wheel because then I can make pottery and then I can show people how, you know, you make these beautiful vases and sauces and plates and I don't know what, but, but then, with a pottery wheel, you have to have a pottery oven, and an oven is pretty expensive. That's like five times more expensive than the wheel. And then, of course, it slurps uh, electricity, which is getting really expensive. <laughs> well, you see my dilemma. I do have a little small pottery wheel, but that doesn't work. Um, that thing doesn't have the traction to... Because I want to work with um, air dry clay first. And when I put a piece of air dry clay on it and I try to, you know, let it go up and down, it doesn't work because it just sort of puts the brake on the whole thing and it doesn't have the power. A real pottery wheel will have the power. We'll see. I've seen some from China though. I could try that. But I am sure you all remember my drone from China that ran away from home. I had that thing like five minutes and it was whoosh, footsie. So, uh, okay, enough chit chat. This was just a catch up video just to show you this. Uh, I don't think that I have anything more to add to this because, uh, well, maybe the little dotty things. Because just the, you know, where I put the uh, glue, I didn't find that, you know, just enough. So up here, and it's kind of shiny because I put some glitter here in some varnish and then I just took a the back of a like a brush and I stuck that in there and I just dotted all over around them so that's the whole thing it was kind of fun to make don't think I'll be hanging it up anywhere and something like that but it was fun to do oh and I have my whole new setup here I should yeah, I'm going to make some, I'll do a little video and I'll stick it together. Because I, I have my whole table, I changed the whole table. Let's see if I get some more light if I turn this. Nah. So I turned the whole table and now I have my iPad in, not on the stand that my hubby made, but I have this big arm and now I can like, see, I can let you go zoom in like that. So now you're really close. And I don't have to bring everything up like that. So that's going to be cool. And of course, I'm going to be videoing now frequently. Maybe not every weekend, but frequently. And um, the number one reason I'm going to be doing that, I know I do not have the views I had, had, you know, like three years ago. But I don't care about that. There are so many sweet and nice people and people that really care and just, you know, think, well, there's a video. Let's get a cup of coffee. Let's listen what's going on in Holland. And I kind of like that idea. Like even if there were 300 people looking at it, that's 300 people who care and that's a lot of people. And I love talking to you while I'm doing stuff. So that's a plus plus, right? Uh, oh yeah, I do want to say a quick hello to my uh, long lost son. I have a, a, a son in Germany. And uh, I want to say hi, hi, kiss the hubby and the dogs. So that's that. I really want to do that. So thanks all for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow when we're going to do some paint pouring. 
and I don't know if you all remember, but I well, I'll stick it behind this one. Um, I I made this painting, and I still I still think about that painting, and I've tried to recreate it once, but it didn't turn out really really beautiful, just a little bit, but not you know what I had in my mind, and it was if you can remember, it was orange and it had white and it had titanium buff in it and it had the baby blue and the colors I would not ever put together for a, a painting but it turned out like something that really it was so appealing so nice to look at and I'm gonna do that one tomorrow also and I'm going to do a pour with my favorite colors, you know, the turquoise and the sienna, the buff titanium in there. So I'm going to do two pours tomorrow. So thanks for watching all, and I'm going to say see you in the next one. Love you all to pieces. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Well, this part is pretty much the same. This is the part where I can sit, chill, do everything. You know where the books are and all that stuff the little corners didn't change this didn't change but there I changed everything so that's all my paint so as you can see I got all my pouring mediums and stuff all the mediums up there I got the paint I got the cups I got my spray cans I have all my glitters there, down there are all my glitters. Here are my pens. Then here I can sit where my drawing bit is. Here I've been mixing my paint. Mixing a lot of stuff with pouring medium and gloss medium and acrylic medium. Zip. And that is where I do the videoing. Today I went through all my brushes. There are my brushes. Here are a lot of um, palette knives and the big brushes. Still some stuff there. A lot of paint up there, bottles. So um, take a few steps back here so you can really see it all. And that's the stairs. I still have to paint it. I tried painting it, as you can see. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be black. So that's going to be my next thing. What I'm going to do this winter. I'll show you a little bit outside. Maybe that's fun. There are the people. Um, they just got the keys yesterday. As you can see, new house. It's kind of fun, huh? If you <laughs> I like looking out this window. So the houses you see there, they're the same houses that I have. See that? That's my house. My type of house. No, they're, uh, they just got the, the keys, so they're pretty busy. And these houses, they've, they've been here for about 10 years. So that's, it's all new stuff, what's, what they're building. Zip. So uh, that's about it. Oh, maybe I could take you down downstairs. And no, maybe you can see the garden from up here. Let's take a look. If you can see. There you go. That's my garden. That's the water in the back. Press the wrong button there. Okie dokie, I don't want to drop you guys because uh, then I would really have a problem. So, see you in the next one tomorrow. Bye bye.